Yeah! We are so awesome! What is it now? Lately, we've been kicking butt against all kinds of monsters. I'm not so sure that's true. It may simply be your own perception. But the injuries we've suffered are way down. Hmm. She acts like she pays no attention to others, but clearly she does. Cherry is practically useless these days. There's nothing to heal. Hey, I heard that. Yet her failure to turn that awareness into actual consideration is a concern. It looks like all of the people here are still struggling to keep warm. Hey, Captain, you should use your Creus Arts to make a fire for him. You want me to build a fire? Well, I guess that would work. But surely you can make a fire yourself, Pascal. Aw, uh, you don't want me. I'm so powerful I'd end up setting the whole place ablaze. So you're saying that my Creus Arts are better suited for this sort of thing? Um, Captain? Your powers are just more subdued, Captain. No need to be ashamed. I can take you on any day of the week, Pascal. Why don't we have a little competition to see who can make the smallest fire? The smallest? Well, there's no way I can beat you with that, Captain. But all right. I will begin. Huh. <laughs> That's totally tiny. Okay, my turn. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Not bad. What? You didn't make any flames at all! Ah, but I did. You just can't match the precise control I have over my arts. Oh yeah? Watch this! <sighs> the captain really does have a lot of skill. No comment. Forsooth, my words have escaped me. What seems to be the problem? Do you need help? Perhaps, fair miss. For you see, I'm a playwright. The villagers here bear a countenance most dour, and so I thought to stage a play in the hopes of raising good cheer. That sounds wonderful. But alas, my words do fail me, for when I strike pen to paper, I find the muse of wit has fled. The disappointment of the villagers will be most palpable, and I cannot bear to face them thus. 
Oh, that's awful. Asbel, we have to help him. What should he write about? I don't really know what he's talking about. Sorry. Perhaps you could write about the love between two brothers. Hubert, I never expected to hear something like that from you. What about the bond between a master and pupil? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Captain. You just sound so serious right now. Alas, my friends, that will not do. I must have a subject to which all can relate, from the noblest king to the most squalid groundling. I thought my idea was pretty good. Think back upon the halcyon days of your childhood, fair miss. Was there art which brought you comfort? Um, well, I used to pretend I was a princess. A princess? Gadzooks! You have the right of it! But curse the day! I have no sources from which I might draw inspiration. Um, I suppose we could help you collect some. A fairer bargain has never been struck, my good lad. I shall inform the innkeeper of my needs at once. Part of my search, and for this, I thank you. Now I can begin my script for true. Good luck. We can't wait to see it. It is not work to be approached with a light hand, but I trust you shall handle it admirably. Handle? What? Why? The performance, of course! Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think I understand. You shall be my actors. You will don the cap and caper beneath the proscenium arch. Wait a second, we don't know the first thing about acting. Actually, I used to be in an improv troupe. No one asked you. Fear not, my friends. The light of talent shines upon you all. And you, fair miss, shall have the starring role. I get to be a princess? Guys, we are so doing this. I had costumes woven from strips of old burlap and the dreams of children. So make haste and put them on! 
But you haven't written anything yet. No matter. The muse of words shall flow through me like lightning. Oh, and you men will need to change outside. Wow, it's the princess dress I've always dreamed of. And I bet the princess gets a handsome prince. Yeah, whatever. Where's my costume? And mine? Hey, this costume's actually cool. Now I'm nervous. How very splendid for you. <sighs> I can't believe I have to wear this ridiculous outfit. Captain, that's nothing compared to mine. Welcome to the play, Sherry White. I am Princess Sherry White. Oh, what a lovely sky, and lovely trees, and lovely forest creatures. The only thing more lovely is my happiness. Come to me, my friends. <laughs> Princess Sherry White was beloved by all for her kind heart and loveliness. But meanwhile, back at the castle... Ah ha ha ha! I am the queen! I am the most lovely woman in all the land, for my magic mirror tells me so. Jeez, he's terrible. Why do I have to be the stupid queen? My legs feel naked. And these expository lines are absurd. No one talks like this. Hey, that queen kind of looks like the lieutenant from Strata's military. Oh crap! If they find out who I am, I'll never be able to show my face in Strata again! No one can know of this fiasco. Very well then, if they want an evil queen, then an evil queen they shall have. Bwahaha! Mirror, mirror on the wall! Who's the fairest out of everybody? What? It's me? Oh, do go on! I must be wrong. The lieutenant wouldn't be caught dead doing something like this. Hey, what's up? I'm like a magic mirror and stuff. <clears throat> Listen to me, mirror. I must confirm that I am the most beautiful woman in all the land. The new winner of the world's most beautiful girl contest is Princess Sherry White! Yay! Princess Sherry White, you say? Blast! There must be some mistake! Dude, I don't make mistakes. I'm a mirror! That loathsome, insolent wretch of a child! How I hate her! But wait! If I were to kill her with this poison apple gel... 
The queen sent the poisoned apple gel to Princess Sherry White, who was at the time living in the forest with some gnomes. Ho oh, hi! Ho oh, hi! It's off to work, you guys! Goodbye, Mr. Lowe. Good luck! I'll be back in a jiffy, Princess! Oh, it's a present! I wish I knew who had sent me such a lovely present! It is an apple gel! I shall eat it right away! Oh, oh no! I have been poisoned! At this rate I shall surely die! I did it! I did it! Once again, the most beautiful woman in the world is me! Yay yeah, you! <laughs> Princess Sherry White is... is... <laughs> Why? Why did you have to die? Just then, a prince who was passing by appears in an amazing coincidence. I say, Mr. Gnome, who is this lovely young woman? This is Princess Sherry White. Someone sent her a poisoned apple gel. She ate it, and then she died. That's terrible. Let me awaken her with my kiss. Do as you like. <laughs> It's really gonna happen! Now, Princess Sherry White, awaken to my kiss! Yes! Encore! Encore! Princess Sherry White then opened her eyes. It was a miracle. And then she and the prince may or may not have lived happily ever after. But what if the evil queen that sent the poison apple gel? She soon heard of Princess Sherry White's miraculous recovery. She then smashed her glasses and ripped her skirt and pulled a curtain from the wall. Consumed with rage, the queen smashed the magic we mirror. We did it, Sherry. As rumors that the only magic mirror yes. in the world has been lost spread among the townspeople. Oh my gosh, she's so close. I think I'm embarrassed. Entered into a long labor So, uh, I guess we have to stay like this until they stop clapping, huh? Um, Sharia, your face looks kind of... red. It's nothing. What's gotten into you? Hmm? Ah, 
sweet redemption! I heard the audience clap until their palms were raw. Did something happen with Asbel and Sharia? I think they're still a bit dazed from that kiss. How absurd! Only a child would swoon over a fake stage kiss. Indeed. At any rate, our performance is finished. We should return to the task at hand. One moment, please, Sir Captain. Yes? Your performance was truly a revelation. I was taken to my knees by the force of your spirit. You were? In honor of this, I bestow upon you the title of Best Supporting Actor. Well, I suppose I am a little old for the lead. But thanks. I'll take it. Seems like you really got into things as the play went along, Hubert. I thought it would be rude to show the audience a poor performance. Got that pro mentality, huh? Hmm, huh, I wonder. If others see it as such, then perhaps I do. Asbel, Sharia, what's wrong? Wh what do you mean? You both seem strange. No, we just got a little, uh, wrapped up in our performance. That's all. Yeah, that's it. They say real actors have trouble leaving a role after a performance. You two must be extremely talented. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Pascal, you look sleepy. Oh, I see. Okay then. Sophie, you understood that? Yes. I said I was up all night building a bomb. Oh, so that's what you were... Wait, what? Geez, Sharia. It was a joke. Yeah, geez, Sharia. This must be how it feels to realize that your child is all grown up. <laughs> <laughs>